Will rain next week help the droughts? Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. We're tracking another band of rain next week and the jury is still out about whether or not this will actually bring relief to northern New Zealand. Let's have a look at the animated wind map. We've got high pressure moving across the South Island. There's a bubble of mostly sunny weather over the island today. Further north it is cloudier with a few showers around Northland and as the day wears on those showers get pushed further and further north. There'll be a little bit of relief around some of those dry parts of Northland but it's very hit and miss. So let's take a look at the Thursday setup and you can see the showers but they're being pushed further north of the country on Thursday, up like that and around, sort of bunny hopping the top of the country. There'll be a few showers along the eastern side, maybe a drizzle patch around Coromandel. Otherwise, it is a mainly dry day. You'll also find a bit of warmth coming back after what was a cold couple of days, it gets warmer. Subtropical winds, and if you don't have those, you'll have a local east to northeast wind. Over out to sea, that's the remnants of what was Cyclone Esther. It's just tracked through Australia and comes out um, into the Southern Ocean pretty much. Although some of the leftovers remain at sea and that's why we're focused on next week. So as we head into the weekend, a couple of isolated showers in the north, um, a little bit of rain developing down around Fiordland and South Westland as the subtropical winds start to push in. So it's a pretty warm Saturday across the country, especially around the South Island's eastern side. On Sunday, not, not a great deal of change for the North Island, still mostly dry and settled. In the South Island, the rain spreads further along the western side, and you might even get a bit spilling over into Southland, just a few spits coming through there. But it's really next week that we're focused on for the dry top of the country. Now, it's still not 100% locked in next week, but it does look as though there's an area of rain, a very narrow area of rain and showers here, moving into the island, whereas the rest of the rain, the bulk of it, drops south. So that means this leftover part is the one to keep an eye on. Very narrow. Uh, based on that map, I wouldn't be getting too excited. But as we head into Tuesday, it is very slow moving and there are a couple of areas with heavier downpours. So our fingers are crossed that this one does bring relief to Northland and maybe Auckland and a few parts of Waikato, but it's still not it's still not the silver bullet we're all looking for to end the droughts. And so we need a follow-up rain event within another week or so of that. We do have a high rolling through and a few showers do linger next week for a time. So it's not all bad news. It's just not the big sort of simple answer. And I was asked today by someone, what will it take to really end the drought? Pretty much 100 millimeters of rain falling over a day or two. That's what will do it. The other way to end a drought is getting showers like this every week week after week and you find by the time we get to the middle of April things are different. Uh, that's not the most ideal way to end. It'll be better to get a sort of period of rain for a couple of days. We'll be watching very closely this part of the world and the northern part of New Zealand as we head in towards April and for the later part of March. That's all from me though. We'll see you again tomorrow with the latest for the weekend.